hello everyone welcome back to the channel with another video you know in the past few days we have made some videos uh, and it is it was uploaded frequently and those videos were about setting up the zip application uh, yesterday one of our friends contacted us and asked uh, set a procedure to set up bridge connection uh, and the bridge connect there are different types of bridge connection uh, this connection is particularly about using the uh, DSNL modem which was used already as an extender so the, uh, the our friend has a geo connection here and he wanted to use his previous DSNL connection as an extender so this video you will see about setting up in case you know you have switched from DSNL to some other network and you, are, you have no idea what to do with your previous modem you can use it as an extender and so in this in this video we will see about setting it up getting into the video here our friend has a geo connection and we are going to use it for bridge you know geo is the most cheapest connection of all the fiber connections that are available in cities recently even it out out out, out takes the airtel and bsnl connections also uh, it's a sad moment that i mean for bsnl users like bsnl fans like me it is a sad incident that most of the bsnl users are migrating to geo and our friend is also one person who has migrated from bsnl to geo and you know when you do that uh, you can't use the uh, previous modem provided by bsnl when you move from geo to uh, sorry when you move from bsnl to geo uh, so we have to you have to use only the modem provided by the geo networks uh, any other modem will not work so uh, you must have a doubt what to do with the previous modem right uh, you can use the previous modem as an extender uh, extender means you can extra uh, you can increase the range of the signal wifi signal etc you, you know if you have two to three floors in your house you can use the main modem in the uh, ground floor and the extender device in the uh, top floor so that you will get a better connectivity so in this video we are connecting a ubicom modem and to a uh, geo router i mean the ubicom was provided by bsnl we are connect, bridging it with the uh, geo connect router and ext using it as an extender so we are bridging using lan because wds bridging that is wireless bridging is not available not the function is not available in this modem so this is the ubicom device and dual band device which is similar to other type bsl cyrotech bsl cyrotech devices cyrotech netlink dvc etc so getting into the video uh, first we will connect the geo device into the uh, uh, your laptop or something uh, you know if you have lateral or some other connections you can connect that device also uh, and first we will open a browser and check the default gateway of the uh, device in this case it is geo so we are entering the default gateway of the geo connection so you can see the third set of digits here is 29 192.168.29.1 mm, so this is the place where, which is very modern when you are bridging two devices the third set of the ip should not match of the gateway should not match it's a bit different uh, so in this case the geo gateway is 29 whereas the ubicom uh, the other device gateway is 1 so the, you don't have to change the gateway in any of the devices if it is if it is the same you have to change in either of the devices so in this case it is not needed now we are going inside the control panel and changing the adapter settings the reason is because when you uh, you have to disable dhcp in the uh, in the extender device oh. When you disable that, your connection will be lost. I mean, your access to the modem interface will be lost. Your connection won't be lost. Your access to the interface will be lost. So, to avoid that, we are changing the adapter to manual. Uh, just off now. We will change it back later. So, for that, you have to double click on Ethernet and select Properties. And inside the Properties here, you will go inside IPv4. And you will change the IP. Uh, we will change it from obtain IP automatically to use the following IP address. So the gateway for the Ubicom modem here is 192.168.1.1. So we will use the IP as 192.168.1. Anything uh, ranging from 5 to uh, 250. So we will use here 65. I am using 65 here. You can use any number. And when you click on subnet it automatically appears. And the default gateway of Ubicom modem you can enter it here. 192.168.1.1. And you can use apply or OK here. In this case it is OK. 
and you have to give okay in every every box that appears i mean to it is two windows that will appear and you have to apply it everywhere and once done after doing all the settings we will connect the uh, modem i mean the second device to, uh, through lan cable so you, you can see unidentified network here because we have to change it to manual so there is no ip allocation from the device as of now so it is unidentified after doing this we will now click the enter the gateway of the second device that is the vcom device which is 192.168.1.1 the uh, friend has already uh, reset uh, reset the device so you know uh, there is no default settings there i mean the preset uh, preset settings are removed already Once we have logged in, you can see the status page here. And here, if you click Man Info, there's the when you reset the device, there will be a TR69 Man. You can delete that. And after deleting that, you can go to LAN and disable the DHCP server. So we have deleted it, and now we are going to LAN and disabling the DHCP server. After doing that, we can simply apply. You know, when you do this, your access to the interface will be lost. That's why we have uh, as a precaution. We have changed the adapter settings earlier. After every 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 settings, you know, after doing the settings, uh, come back to the status and inter sorry network and internet. And you know, now you are going to add the van. Now select the mode as built and the IP version as IP before. And MTU you don't have to change, and that's all. Uh, don't enable net. Uh, don't enable net. Don't enable VLAN. And <clears throat> you don't have to change the service mode also. Well, only thing is you have to select bridge and select IPv4, and then you have to bind all the ports to it. Now so port one, port two. This is a dual band device, so you have to bind uh, both wireless also. And when after binding, click apply. Uh, the setting is the setup in the modem is almost done. Uh, now, what you have to do is, you know, you have to connect the LAN uh, LAN cable. Uh, before that, we will select user info here. Uh -huh. Yeah, see. So you can see that the port one is connected. That is the port one is connected to the laptop now. And after, see now we are, we are connected the port two from the uh, as out. I mean, we are taken output from the Geo device and connected in the port two. Now that the bridge is done, you can see here in the Wi-Fi section, in the network section, the device uh, that uh, here, in the bottom of bottom right corner, in the network section, you can see that the device is connected. So when we reset the adapter to previous normal settings, uh, see you are going to here and, and selecting the properties and selecting IPv4. And after that, when we reset it back to normal, that is to obtain IP automatically, the device connects to network. That is the device connect to the internet. You know you can also set manual DNS and you can use the device as such. As such. But you know uh, as we are bridged now, we, we are not using this device. Now when you click obtain after automatically you can see in the bottom right corner the LAN connect, connection connects and network works. You can see here it shows connected internet access. Uh, I hope you have understood what to do here. And now when we try to access the gateway of the Ubicom device it won't work. That's why that's what I said at the beginning. Uh, uh, you have to change adapter to access it. Uh, see now we have two ports in this device, uh, LAN ports and one mm, we will do is uh, do the bridging. So we have three, uh, one LAN port and two Wi-Fi ports now. Uh, these three ports you can access the in the internet by bridging. Uh, to make a quick summary. Uh, see summarizing this video, to do a bridge setup that is to use the device as an extender we have to do three steps normally. One, we have to disable the DHCP. Two, we have to add a bridge van. And three, 
we have to change the default gateway so in this case uh, both the gateways are already different so uh, that is the third set of digits are different in the geo device it is 29 and in the, in the uh, bcom device it is 1 so the uh, the procedure to you know change the default gateway is not done here and the second step is we will disable the dhcp so when you disable the dhcp what actually happens is that your access to the interface will be lost uh, so uh, you know um, your settings settings will be interrupted halfway your configuration will be interrupted halfway so to, to prevent that what we have done in this video is that we have changed the adapter first itself and set it to manual and after that we have configured the device uh, so when we chase, uh, turn off the DHCP in the LAN section, the disconnection won't happen. And that does that step. We have done the uh, bridge van. We have added a bridge van here. And when everything is done, we can set the adapter back to normal. So when you set back to normal, your inter access to the interface will be lost. But uh, as, as we have already set up the uh, yeah, sorry, as we have already configured the modem, it is not needed. The, I mean, the, to access the interface, it is not needed. Uh, so now we can remove the LAN cable and as we change the adapter back to normal and once uh, uh, you take a line out from the geo device and connect to the ubicom device that is uh, the extender device in this case uh, you can start using internet in the uh, ubicom device also that is you, uh, you will have uh, additional ports uh, that is you will have extender options here hope you understand this you know yeah. um, straight away it's just three steps so turn off dhcp a disable uh, sorry disable dhcp change gateway and uh, add bridge there it's only three steps but you know to get a clear picture if you watch the full video you can see what i have done here and what i have spoken here anyway thanks for watching if you like the video kindly like press the like button and also share to your friends and subscribe uh, too and you know if you have any queries please mention in the comment section uh, thanks thanks for watching